Hello everyone. This is the third time I've tried to do this unboxing. I almost got finished with the second time and then my camera gave up. Now I'm I'm actually hooked into the um the uh house, you know, the electricity. I don't know, I'm not running on battery power. So I'm going to try this one more time. Um I'm not quite this time I've actually got my camera on video mode on my little selection thing to see if that makes a difference. I don't know. I may be only able to run it for 29 minutes and then it cuts out on me because it said slow access right before the last time it cut out. Cut out. So I've already opened this box and I've gone through all the supplies for y'all. So anyway, okay. So, but before I do that, let me go through um, what I did for January, February, March because I did get those done. And January was the sketchbox, sketchbox, sketchbook, and colored pencils, and that's what I came up, came up with was this cat. And let me back this up a little bit so you can see it better. It wants to. If I go too far, it's going to fall off the table. But that's the cat I came up with. The pencils were nice. They were a little bit harder than, like, say, Prismacolor pencils or Caran uh, colored pencils or even Faber-Castell pencils. They're, they're nice. I, I didn't like the way the background came out. Now, the cat came out okay. The table came out okay. I really can't blame the colored pencils. I think I was just in a hurry to finish it. And so I did the, instead of doing in little circles, I did the long, you know, the long strokes, and that's probably why it looks that bad. So I really can't blame the pencils because I was in a hurry to finish this. But anyway, that's for January, and I really like this sketchbook. I love the paper. It's really thick. Where's the, there it is. I was looking for the bookmark. There it is. My cat wants to, you know, the, the bookmark sticks out at the bottom like this, <laughs> and the cat wants to always play with it. Okay, and then for February was the uh, chameleon markers, uh, chameleon marker and the color tops with the uh, water-based markers, and this is what I came up with. It was like cartooning, like a cartoon type of project. This one did not come out that good. My eyesight was, I was still working on one eye, you know, being, you know, seeing out of, same with the cat. So I think the cat came out better than this one did. Because <laughs> look at her face. Her face is all wonkers. Her lips are off. This eye's off. That's why the hair's covering her, that one eye. And, um, and then this, this was just a disaster. I mean, I was using the chameleon. I thought I was going to be real clever and hold the color top on, on the, the vermilion uh, marker for a count of 100, you know, times or 100 seconds or whatever, <laughs> thinking I was going to be clever and I was going to be able to cover the whole thing. No, <laughs> it did not work out. <laughs> it did not work. So anyway, this is a disaster. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming up to say, okay, Ma, what's you doing? Um, but anyway, so I do like it to a certain extent. I did use the uh, water-based marker. Is sort of kind of like... Uh, um, uh, watercolor, try to get a watercolor effect on the back here. Um, but this paper is marker paper, so it didn't, no, 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 honey, no. Um, so the, um, the marker, this paper, this is marker paper, and it's not really conducive to watercolor. It still came out okay, I guess, the background did. And then, of course, I put in the flowers. I used the markers for the flowers. Anyway, okay, and then for March, <laughs> another failure. I just could not get the ink to do what I wanted it to do, and this is what I came up with, at least one of them. Now what's nice about these is that if you put a flashlight or a light on behind it, it looks really cool. Now this was the second one I did. Actually this was the first one. It looks a disaster. It's And I tried to do the marker, tried to make it look like flowers, and it just, no. And then this is my abstract piece, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> you can look at it any way you want to, you know, so whatever way you look at it, you can interpret it the way you want. Whatever you see is what it is, okay? Same with this one. This one I like better, though. I love this over here. I love this right here. This is, this kind of reminds me of Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. This is his girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe I should take the pin and make it like a mouth right there. 
just make a little mouth across there. But anyway, um, yeah, so, um, and this one looks good too with the light behind it. But, um, you know, you can tell me what you see in the painting, okay? There you go. It's an abstract painting, so tell me what you see in the painting. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to try to, uh, see, I've, I've only five minutes in, good. So I'm going to try to get through this unboxing again, um, because I really want to do the, uh, I just can't seem to get my, I don't, I don't know, maybe I need a new camera or actually a video camera or something because I can't seem to get through this. Uh, maybe I think part of the problem is because of the, the, um, the uh, things from January, very March. So anyway, like I said, I had already opened it. I already know what's in it. Here's the uh, Smart Art Box. Always comes with a project. For those of you who are new to the channel, Smart Art Box is a monthly subscription box that always has a project in it. In this case, it is lettering. Yay! Ooh, wow, I'm excited. No, I'm not. I'm not very good at lettering. But here's the inside of the brochure. And we got the uh, project pointers, if you want to pause and read that. And then we have the project tools. And then this one here is from Yus Yasu Tomo and Company. That's what the products are that are in the box. And it is actually the people who make Tombow. The Tombow markers, because... If, and then here's the back that tells you how to do it. That gives you the instructions on how to do it. And then, I'm like, I'm just not very good at doing um, things like uh, lettering. But anyway, in the box, oh, that doesn't go in the box. We had a five pack or six pack of Tombow markers, which was this, which was uh, this packaging here. And then we had two Tombow brush markers, one in gray and one in black. Of course, this is double ended. One's got a brush marker on it. And one's got a, a fine tip marker, or t a nib, I should say, not marker. And the colors, where's my thing in the jigger? Thing, whatchamacallit? Oh, here it is. Um, and then let me show you what the uh, colors look like. Because I did do some swatches. I just ran out of time. Well, my, actually, my, my, my camera just cut out on me. And then here was the um, the thin end of the Tombow marker, and here was the brush nib. And then, of course, this was the, um, let me see, hold on a second, if I get this right. This was the thin end of the brush marker, and this was the uh, brush brush end. So that that's the gray color, so it's very, very light. And then we also have a HB pencil, I mean a 4H pencil by Tombow. And this is the color of the, you know, this is very, very light. And if you see that racing part, that was the eraser that also came in the pack. And then we have another double-ended marker. It's a mono twin. And let me see if I can, okay, this is the mono twin marker. Oh, let me show you. This is the mono twin marker. And here are the, the brush nibs, I mean the nibs. We've got, I don't know what millimeter it is. It's in Japanese, so I have no clue. And then here's the other one. And the swatches look like this. That's the, the thicker one, and this is the thinner one. And then we had one more marker. Hold on a second, it's got one just one end on it. And this one is all in Japanese, so I really can't read what it is. But it's this marker here. And this is the nib. And let me see if I can figure out the nib. Let's see if I can get the nib right here. I think it's this one. Yeah. This is the this is the mark that it makes. And then I'm sorry I'm rushing through this, but I this is the, the third try. You know how they say third time's a charm, so I'm hoping that, that'll work. Okay, I did the because so there was five items or six items in the in this little package that I showed you. In this little package, there were six items, which was the the pins and then the eraser. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have, what was else is in there? Hold on, where's my, there's my brochure. And then we have the, 
I'm not going to try to pronounce it. It's this word right here. It's a hand lettering um, pad, uh, eight by eight, or five by eight. And this word here is almost as hard to pronounce, if not harder than to pronounce. Or, no, not as hard as the Hawaii state fish. Look it up on the internet. You try to, you try to pronounce it. <laughs> I lived in Hawaii for you know three years, and then I also visited it several times, and I still can't pronounce the fish. But here's the pad. And oh yes, the the um, that little marker set. It also came with a little brochure here that um, shows you you know how to do lettering. And I will try to follow this, but I am just not very good at topography. I just am not. And then, of course, here's, and this, this paper is very, very smooth. And then, of course, up here, it shows you, you know, examples of lettering. And then we have, oh my goodness, okay, I'm 11 minutes in. This is going to be really fast. Um, then we have, oh yeah, Princeton Snap Gold Taclon Brush. Um, round number four. Let me see, where's the brush? It's in here somewhere. Or did I take it? Oh, I took it out. Here's the brush. There's the, there's the, um, the, uh, the brush part. Very nice. I've got another sweet brush. I've got several of these snap brushes now. I don't think I have a round four, though. And then we have to put these back in there. Then, last but certainly not least, is these watercolors. It's a Niji, I think that's how you pronounce it, Niji um, Aqua, Aqua, Aquarelle watercolor. And I think, let me see here. Yeah, it's actually Yasu, it says Yasu Tomo um, Nui watercolor set. And there, the colors are very vibrant. I was doing swatches when my when my thing went out on me, my camera. But here are all the swatches. <laughs> it's a big mess. <laughs> this one, this color ran. I mean, it just ran. It was compared to the other ones. The other ones were fairly thick. It just just as soon as I put it on the paper, it just ran down. The colors. I have time now to tell you what the colors are. Now I did not do a swatch for the white, for obvious reasons, because everybody knows what white looks like. But the colors on this are, and I will point them out as, as I go along, is Carmine, which is, here's Carmine. Oh, actually, I should do it this way. See, there's Carmine. And this one here is Carmine up here. This one's Carmine. And then we have, the next color is Vermilion. This is Vermilion. And this is the one, the one that ran, that one's vermilion. Let me see if I can get these. I, ha I mixed them all up when I put them back in here. Then, I th then we have, oh, let me see here. We have, oh yeah, okay, this one came next. This one is burnt umber, and that would be this one up here. This one's up here is burnt umber. And then we have... Lemon yellow, which is this one right there, still wet too. That's how soon, how how soon after that I uh, that I done. And then the next one is um, yellow ochre. This is yellow ochre. That's the little tubes that come in. And this one up here is yellow ochre. Then we have a chrome green. And the color on this chrome, chrome green is a little off because I, I did not clean off my water brush good enough and I got some of the um, yellow ochre mixed in with the chrome green. And then we have Veridin, which is this one right here. And that is this really dark green right there. Then we have, oh that's Veridin. Then we have, let's see, cobalt blue. Let's see if I can figure out which one's cobalt blue. Okay, this one is cobalt blue. Then we have. Oh, did I show you? Did I show you cobalt blue? This is cobalt blue. Actually, 
Yeah, they really, sort of kind of matches the uh, tube. And then we have uh, burnt, burnt Sienna, which is, hold on a second. Maybe I got these colors wrong. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I got the, okay. This one, I'm sorry. This one here is um, burnt umber, not this one up there. There we go. This one is burnt sienna, so the color matches better. And then we have Russian blue, and that's this one right here, so it does match. It matches the, the tube. And that's all the colors, which is really nice. I always like getting watercolors, so I'm really thrilled about having all these watercolors. Um, I am sorry, I, I, like I said, I, I had done the swatches, I had done the, the, the um, box opening and went through, I was really, I was, <laughs> I'm thrilled with the pack, the, 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 um, the uh, box. I'm excited in a way, but in a way I'm dreading it because I'm not very good at lettering. I suck at lettering. I do. I, you know, I just, I don't, if you go back to, I think it's a, um, uh, creative art box. I believe it was a creative art box. One of, well, it was one of the subscription boxes. They had the, I think it was creative art box. They had the, um, uh, calligraphy set, you know, markers. And I tried, you know, to do, here, let me show you. Um, it was in one of these, one of these, um, these uh, sketchbooks here. Let me see if I can find the right one. And I will show you what I'm talking about. Oh gosh, where is it? It's in one of these. I've got so many spiral... No, it's not this one. Is it this one? Oh, this is the one my husband got me. Oh, yep, here it is. This is the one. This is what I tried to do in an earlier with calligraphy markers. And it does not look good. I'm sorry, it just does not. So it's, it's I'm not very good at it. So <laughs> I can't guarantee I'm gonna do very good at this one either. But I'm willing to give it another shot. You know, I mean, you gotta keep trying in order to get better at it. So I am willing to, I mean, I will, even if like say somewhere along the line, say if I get another art subscription box that has lettering in it again, I will still try again. I will not give up. I just, I, I'm too stupid sometimes to give up. <laughs> I'm just too dumb to give up. I just keep trying and trying until, until I get it or throw up my hands and say, you know what, I'll just do the best I can. <laughs> but anyway, that is the Smart Art Box for April. And this time I got all the way through it, but then I, I was actually rushing because I, I really, I, it was, it was the, um, January, February, March, um, uh, projects that I was, I was dwelling too long on. And, uh, but it was that, that one for, for February that, you know, I was really, I really got to do this one over again because she's, uh, her nose is off, her lips are off, her eye is off. And, and this looks awful. <laughs> I can live, I can live with these because I can consider them abstract. And this is a cartoon, but I know I can do better. So I do want to do this again with the same markers, with the chameleon, because I do like the, I, the funny thing is I do like the chameleon markers. I actually do like them. I like the effect they give. Like, I like how this came out. I like the effect they give. It's just you really can't fill in a large area with those markers. Just a small area like that, and it's fine. But if you try to do the whole big area like this, you, you, just, you can't. You just, the, the color top doesn't last long enough when you, when you try to mix the two colors. It just doesn't. And before you know it, you're going back into the vermilion. So, or whatever color the main marker is. So, and, the, and these, I, I'm not too disappointed with them be because of the fact that 
they can be considered abstract. So I'm not too disappointed in them. And I, I'm, anyway, with the April a Smart Up and the Cat, I just I like how it came out. Um, with the um, April Smart Art Box, I will do the best I can with the lettering. I'm going to, um, I think I've got, somewhere I've got a, um, a, a booklet about lettering. And I'm going to do my best, because I know if I draw lines, which that 4H pencil, I love 4H pencils, 2H, 3H, and 4H pencils. I will draw a very faint line, sorry I hit you. Um, I'll draw very faint lines to help me get my lines straight, and um, I'm going to try to do justice to the uh, tools that were given, you know, for the, in the smart art box. But you know, I recommend, you know, in the in the description box below, there will be a link to smart art box um, website. And if you want to get your own smart art box to see what, because you never know what kind of, and they also have available previous smart art boxes some previous ones um, not a lot of them but they do have, and so you might want to you know go over there check them out see what maybe you want to try you know something that's not lettering that maybe it's painting or you know like acrylic or oils or pastels or you know whatever strikes your fancy so you might want to go over to smart art box check them out see if there's a you know an older box that you might be interested in anyway that will do it for this um, unboxing of Smart Art Box for the third time. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, just my, my camera just kept giving out. I, it, just, it just would stop, and I am connected to the electricity grid. <laughs> I, am, I am connected to the electrical grid. <laughs> anyway, um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you are having a wonderful day, and spring has sprung, and you are having beautiful weather, and the snow is going away. And, you know, um, like here, it's getting hotter. <laughs> it's getting hotter, no. Because it's like, it was up in the 90s today, according to, well, not today, but yesterday. But according to the news, it was like 100 degrees at the airport. But in the city itself, it was like 90-something, 90 94, 95, I don't know, 98, 99. I don't know, but it was up there and it was hot. I had to turn on the AC, and I hate turning on the air conditioner. <laughs> but it's cool right now. It's, it's going, it's supposed to be like, around 64 at night time, 64, 69, something like that. But it's supposed to be cool. That's why I've got my door open. But anyway, um, an update on my eyes. Um, they are getting better. Um, the little floaters in my left eye are slowly but surely dissipating, and they're going away. And my right eye, I still see pinch in the, like, the lines, the straight lines. I still see a little pinch with my right eye. But you know what? It is getting better. It is getting better. The pinch seems to be slowly going away so that I'm I'll, I'm seeing straight lines again. Anyway, that will be it for now. Um, you guys take care of yourselves. Be good to each other, okay? Be good to each other. Do a kind thing for somebody, even if it's just like your little brother or your, your you know, your, your sibling and you're like, and they, they irritate you. Be good to each other. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for to, and, and welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome aboard the train, <laughs> the crazy train. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but anyway, welcome aboard. Um, glad to have you. Okay, that that's it. I, I made it. I've I made it to the just about the end here. I should just run along and see if it if it'll go to past 29 minutes, but I doubt it. It'll probably just shut off. So instead of letting it shut off, I will do my like I said, I will do my best the best I can with the lettering. And until um, next time, take care of yourselves. God bless. Bye.